Hey y'all, it's Ashley Dawn. How are y'all doing today? I hope you're doing great. This video has been requested by so many people. And no, it's not a video on my favorite milkshake in the whole entire world. But while I have you here, let me just tell you about it. It is the Culver's, um, oh, it's dripping. The Culver's strawberry concrete mixer and what I like to do is let it melt down a little bit and it is the best milkshake in the entire world well actually I don't know if it's in the entire world because I haven't traveled the entire world but it is the best milkshake that I've had in a long time if not ever it's my favorite it's my favorite milkshake and it's delicious so good and no Culver's is not sponsoring this but Culver's you want to hook your girl up with a lifetime supply of strawberry milkshakes, we'd be best friends. Um, so yeah, Culver's milkshakes are awesome. So this video is actually going to be my everyday makeup, my makeup bag, if you will. <clears throat> and it's just going to be like my favorite, kind of, kind of my holy grails, kind of not. Um, it's not all of them, but these are my favorite makeup items. My hair is like all up in my face. I'm trying this little new hairstyle. kind of like it. I call it Carrie Job. Um, shout out to Carrie Job. That's my homie girl. Anyway, so I have a good bit of makeup and it, I mean it doesn't all fit in my bag but I wanted to show you and this is actually my favorite little uh, type of bag and it is Vera Bradley. I love Vera Bradley makeup bags because if they get dirty you can pop them in the washer and they come out pretty clean. So, <clears throat> the first thing I have is this little Z palette, and this is a Sephora Z palette, and I think this one's a baby one, I think. I really like the size, and then I just have a couple, uh, this is Makeup Geek in Cupcake, one of my favorite, favorite shadows, and then I like to mix it with Anastasia, 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 in um, Belize. I like to mix those two together, and then this one I actually got in one of my little subscription boxy things. And I think it's Fireball from Urban Decay. And then this one is Havoc from Makeup Geek. I don't really like that one. It's duochrome. And I don't really get down with duochromes. And it's real dark. So I rarely wear a dark eye. I like pinks and peaches and neutrals. But um, So I do like this little guy. And then... Um, and I'm going in no type of order. So just I'm just going to pick and pull and that's going to be that. So this is Urban Decay. I know it's super dirty because I use it every day. Um, Urban Decay Chill Makeup Setting Spray. Cooling and hydrating, oil-free, paraben-free, temperature control technology. It's amazing. It's by Scandinavia. And it's my favorite setting spray. I live in South Florida and it is hot. Huh. It's real hot and um, it's summer and it's July and in July, well it's almost August, but in July, I mean your, your face is going to melt off because it's hot and I don't have air conditioning in my vehicle, in my truck, so I mean there's that. So I need this or my makeup will be on the floorboard of my truck. So there you go. Yes. Okay, the next thing is kind of the same thing-ish. This is Fix Plus by MAC. I have gone through not exaggerating, probably 20 to 30 of these. Probably more than that. Probably more than that. I go through probably three or four a year of these. And these are not setting sprays. These are just, I like to call it a melting spray. It just kind of melts everything together and makes it look flawless. Um, and then I just spray, 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 and then I fan myself with a little fan. And I really, really like this stuff. And in um, high school and in beauty school, too, MAC was, like, the only makeup I used. MAC and Clinique. Mostly MAC, though. Um, and here's another MAC product. I've probably gone through about 100 of these. That's an exaggeration. Probably not 100, but a lot. Medium um, is my color, and this is Mineralized Skin Finish. When I used to tan and when I was in pageants and all that mess, I um, wore medium dark, and it was like, bam! I look back at pictures, and I'm like, man, I was dark. Yeah, it was probably the makeup I was wearing. But this is medium. It's a perfect color for me. I really like it. And it's the Skin Finish. This is another one. So, I mean, I have two. Because you got to have backups. Then my favorite bronzer is the Milk Chocolate Soleil Light Medium Matte Bronzer by Too Faced. Favorite, favorite, favorite. Um, it's just, it's good. It's just real good. It's the perfect color. And I would show you these or like swatch them, but I have swatches everywhere and I don't really want to do that. If you want to 
um, write down my favorite products and then, you know, go look at other people's videos, I mean, you're more than welcome to do that. But, I mean, I've got a lot of products and I don't want to be, you know, here 30 minutes just swatching stuff. And my swatches never come out good. So, I mean, yeah, comment below if you think my swatches come out good. This is MAC Painterly Paint Pot. This actually is going to be going in my empties because it is all dried up. Um, and that's another thing. You've got to keep these, like, tight because they... Um, dry up really really fast but I do love this I will be repurchasing this then I have a I don't even know what one this is but it's just the wet and wild I think it's the blush brush I really love it it was a dollar or two dollars it was either a dollar or two dollars at CVS and they also had it at Dollar Tree so I really like that brush and I use that for my powder then this one is another favorite brush this is Sephora and this is the Pro Bronzer number 48. And I really like this to carve out the cheekbones. It's really good. The next items are Real Techniques. And this is Base Shadow Brush and Shading Brush. These brushes I use every single day. And I actually probably should like purchase extras just like to travel and to take like These are my favorite brushes for my eyes. And these are Real Techniques. And it is the shading and the base and these are really inexpensive like if you're thinking oh that's a fancy brand no it's not it's like eight bucks you know what I mean like these are really really quality brushes that literally I mean all you need are these two that's all you need and maybe a liner brush and that's it for your eyes they're awesome um the next thing I actually got this in a glossy box so this is kind of like a review ish and this is the star looks pro luxe loungewear eyeliner pen i'm wearing it right now um i just love it it lasts a long time i'm actually not proud of this but the other day i was up really late i think i went to like an all-night roller skating party or something anyway i was up really really late i was tired i washed my entire face but i did not want to fool with my eyes so i left my eyeliner and mascara on just while i slept um, I know, I know all the people out there are like, that's so bad. Yeah, I was tired. It was like 4 o'clock in the morning. I had work at like 7. So, I mean, I wasn't going to wash it off. Anyway, um, and so, yeah, and it lasted all night long. And the next day for work, everyone's like, oh my gosh, what mascara are you wearing? Oh my gosh, what eyeliner are you wearing? It looks amazing. And I'm like, uh, it's from yesterday. So, I mean, this stuff works really good. And it's Star Looks Pro Luxe Longwear Eyeliner Pen. Really like it. The next brushes, this is Real Techniques, number 300. I use this for my highlighting, which is kind of big, but I don't care because I like lots of highlight. And then the e.l.f., I use this for blush. And that was like three bucks at the CVS. Then this one is Real Techniques 100, and I use this one for, um, like, to wipe off my translucent powder if I'm baking. The next thing is this little doohickey. This is a Remington um, little, I use it for my eyebrows. You could use it for your nose hairs. You can use it for, I don't know, whatever you want. Um, but it's perfect for your eyebrows and getting like in the little arch. I mean, you want to be really, really careful. You don't want to zip chop off your eyebrows but I, what I like to do is I like to comb them all I have really bushy big old caterpillar eyebrows so I brush them up and then I just take this and I'll have a comb and I'll hold them with the comb like the line that I want and then I'll just go zzz, and like get a nice sharp edge and this was like nine dollars eight dollars at CVS I mean it was pretty cheap and it just runs on batteries the next thing is my favorite eyeliner pen and it is the blacker highliner gel crayon by Marc Jacobs. It's worth the splurge. I know it's expensive, but it's worth it. It lasts forever. Forever. Like, literally, it'll expire before you use all of it. It's so good. Then, another Marc Jacobs product. Um, the Invisible Undercover Coconut Face Primer. I love this stuff. I use it almost every day. If I'm going to be out in the sun, I use the Murad. I don't have it, or I'd show you the Murad um, environmental shield, but I love Marc Jacobs undercover coconut primer. It's amazing. It is pricey. It is a splurge, but it's worth it. Like if I'm going to spend money, I'm going to spend money on my foundation. I'm going to spend money on my powder and I'm going to spend money on my primer. I'm not going to spend a ton of money on my eyeshadow. I'm not going to spend a ton of money on my blush. Um, highlight, eh. 
Um, and then mascara, I'm not going to spend a ton of money on mascara. Um, so yeah, this is a lip matte lip and this is Kat Von D in bow and arrow. This is one of my favorite matte lip colors. It's just the perfect, um, kind of like a gray tone nude. I really, really like it and it lasts forever. If you are going somewhere and you don't want to touch up, that is the stuff to use. The next thing is Clinique Super Fit Makeup. I actually use this as a um, concealer and I use it as a base for my eyeshadow. And this is in Super Fit Makeup Oil Free Longwear in um, 05 Neutral. The next thing is another Clinique uh, foundation, and this is actually $27. This is a cheap foundation. I mean, for what you're getting, it lasts forever. I mean, I've had this for months and months and months, and it's just right there. And I use it, not every day, I don't wear makeup every day, but I, I use it a lot. Whenever I'm wearing makeup, I normally use this. And this is in, what shade am I? Six Ivory. And it's the Beyond Perfecting Foundation and Concealer, and it is full coverage. I have freckles, I am red, I'm a redhead-ish, I have auburn hair and freckles, and the more I'm in the sun, the redder my hair gets, and so my fair, my fair, my fair, my skin does tend to be more on the fair side. I am Native American, so it's got like this Irish Native American kick to it. There's, yeah, it's tons of fun. The next is the most disgusting thing in my everyday makeup bag, and this is my beauty blender that has seen better days. I need to throw it away and get another one, but I've just been really lazy and haven't done it. I do wash it. I mean, it doesn't look like I wash it, and it's got like dings and dents and makeup bristles in it, but I do wash it. I mean, I didn't wash it before this video, but I do wash it. It's just stained. I need a new one. Oop! Ah! Good thing I have carpet. If I had hardwood, hard, I cannot talk tonight. If I had hard wood, those would have broke. So, those are my Clinique. They just decided they were gonna like take a little jumpy. Um, the next thing is one of my favorite. I I use it as a lash primer, but it works amazing. And it is the Mega Plush Volume Express by Maybelline. I will open this because I've been using it, and you can just see the bristle, the brush, and it kind of like bends. It's kind of bendy. I love this. It separates your lashes so beautifully. It makes me look like I have fake eyelashes. I love it. I use it as a primer. I use this first. I kind of let it dry-ish, and then I go over it with my next mascara. But this is awesome. It's from the drugstore. It's Maybelline. I think it's 7 or $8. The next thing is not 7 or $8. I actually got this for free from Influencer, and I'll put my link for Influencer down below. It's a discovery platform. You can try products, you can review products, and you can get really nice products for free and this one was um for free i didn't pay for it and it's like a 30 dollar mascara and it is awesome um what is it called velvet noir yeah velvet noir and it's got a really cool wand and i use this on top of that mascara and i just go boom 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 like maybe two coats and i mean i'm like ah! i mean you can see right now i'm not wearing false eyelashes and it looks pretty darn good right i'm saying so Yes, I love that. The next thing is Artistry. I don't know why I kept it in the um, box, but this is really, really cool. You can get this from, what is it? Arbon? Is it Arbon? Amway. Amway sells it. Actually, my friend sells it, so if you're interested, and it lights up. It's got like a little lighty thing and a mirror, so I really like it. And it's tingly, so it makes your lips like plump. I do like that. The next thing is Lash Blash, goodness gracious, I cannot talk, Lash Blast Volume, and it's a mascara, and I really like this one too for priming. It's got that like wandy that just grabs all the um, lashes. It's really good. The next thing is one of my favorite blushes, and this is from MAC, and it's just a wisp mineralized blush, and actually this to me is like a highlight um, a, a blush highlight. Like it's, it's really highlighty and it's a blush and it's so pretty. It's like a really pale pink. It's gorgeous. I love it. And it's just a wisp. The next thing is the Falsies Volume Express. This is another really, really good one. I use this one, um, to prime my lashes too. I love it. It's Maybelline and it's like eight bucks at the drugstore and it's Falsies Volume Express. 
The next thing is for my hair. I don't know why it's in my makeup bag, but it's Caviar by Alterna Miracle Multiplying Volume Mist. It's for volume. It works amazing. I love, love, love this stuff. You can get it at Sephora. I think a big bottle is like $30, but it lasts a long time. Okay, and the next things are some of my favorite eyeshadows in the whole world, and that's what I'm saying. Like, spend, if you want to spend, you know, good money on good products, get your face products, really good face products, and then just get, you know, some little cheapy eyeshadows. These are Maybelline Eye Studios in Green with Envy and Irresistibly Ivory, Irresistibly IV. Yeah, um, and these are great. They're greens. I really like greens. They make my um, reddish hair, auburn hair pop out. Um, I don't know why my computer's going crazy. This is my favorite blush probably ever. I love it. You'll probably love it if you try it too. It's a sheer tone blush in Blush Baby. It's just natural. It's beautiful. Can't say enough things. It's gorgeous. It's by MAC. I think it's $22. And it'll last you forever because I've had that forever. Then I have a marker because um, I like to have markers in there for some reason. That's a joke. I don't know why that's in there. The next thing is eyeshadow pro palette cream and this is from Lorac Cosmetics and I actually bought this for three dollars on Hot Look and I'll put my links for Hot Look down below. Hot Look's amazing. I buy a lot of my high-end products on there because they're like dirt cheap. Like I think the um, suggested retail price of this was eighteen dollars and I paid three dollars for it. So I mean you can get a great deal on high-end makeup and it works great. I'm actually wearing that in the inner corner tonight. The next thing I hated, I don't know why this is in my makeup bag, it's going to be in my empty soon, and it's a Kajal pen from Pop Beauty. It was from one of my birch boxes. It is just horrible. It doesn't sharpen good. It doesn't last good. It smears. I hate it. Don't get this. That's It's ugly. It's bad. The next thing is my waterproof mascara, and this is in Dior Show Iconic Over Curl, and this is the waterproof, and it's got a curvy wand. It works really great. It is pricey. I think it's like 30 or $40, but it does last. I went to the beach on 4th of July and it didn't move. The next thing is MAC Hot and Naughty 2 Black Lash, and I like this one. Um, I like to layer this one, and it's got this big fat brush, and then it also has this little one. It's got this thinner one that kind of separates. I don't know if you could see. It separates. It's really nice. I like it. And then I just realized that y'all probably, when I'm holding the brushes, are like, uh, we can't really pay attention to what they are. It's just a big fat brush. I like it. It works great. It is like 20, 30 bucks, but it works good. The next thing I actually, did I buy this? I think I bought this one. I did get a lot of YSL. Uh, lipsticks from Influencer for free, but I did buy this one, and this is in Vol Rouge Volupte. Vol Volupte? I don't know. I'm not fancy. I can't say fancy words. Um, 62M203. I don't know what that means, but it's just a nude pinky color. It's really nice. The next thing is Tarte Wonder. I got this in a... Um, Birch box, I think. It's okay. It's not my favorite, but I don't I keep it in here for some reason. The next thing is Melted Chihuahua by Too Faced, and this came in a glossy box or birch box, one of the boxes. The next thing is Urban Decay Beauty with an Edge, and this is in Midnight Cowgirl because, I mean, if y'all didn't know, I am a cowgirl. I rode horses as a little girl. I still do. I love horses. I love cows. I grew up in a farm in the country. I learned to drive in a watermelon patch um, and a school bus going down the interstate. But, um... I'm a country girl, and I love this eyeshadow. It's got little flecks of sparkle, so it's really, really pretty if you're going out, um, but it's really pretty, and I like the name. You guys know I like names. I'm all about names. Midnight Cowgirl, I just liked it. Yeehaw. The next thing is Knockout Beauty, and I actually, if I'm being honest, I got it for the packaging. If I'm being honest, because I'm a boxer, and my daddy was a boxer. He was a Golden Globe boxer. Golden Globe. Golden Glove 
boxer. He boxed in the Marines. He's just an amazing, amazing man. Anyway, um, so I got this because it had the boxing gloves, but it also on the mirror says you are beautiful. And y'all know, if you've been watching my videos for any amount of time, I love telling women they're beautiful. It's just something that I love to do because God tells me I'm beautiful every day and I love to, you know, take that and put that back out into the universe and back out into my sisters and my homie girls. Um, we're almost done, y'all. The next thing is MAC Orb Satin Eyeshadow. Perfect uh, transition color. Brow bone highlight. Really good. Love MAC. This one is a little sample from Sephora. No idea what it is. This one is MAC. Y'all, I got a lot of MAC. Um, and this is purple, and it's Odd Couple, and it's one of my favorite eyeshadows. The next thing is Becca Champagne Pop. I love it. I've got, like, a backup of this. I have this. I have this uh, Champagne Pop palette. I love this highlighter. It's my favorite. Okay, the next thing is... I should probably use some of this. It's a pocket back from... Bath and Body Works, and it's in Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin from last fall, and it is a hand sanitizer. Before I do my makeup, I like to wash my hands, but if I'm like in a bathroom somewhere or because I am a speaker and I um, do youth meetings, and if I'm speaking or mentoring, I, oh, my hair's like all over the place. Um, so good. Sweet cinnamon pumpkin. I like to, you know, put this on my hands because your hands got lots of bacteria on them. So I do like to use that. The next thing is Wet n Wild. It's a little uh, crease brush, eyeshadow brush. It was a dollar from Dollar Tree. The next thing is Stylish Mary Extra Dimension Eyeshadow from MAC and it's a purpley color. It's a good uh, transition color. It's not my favorite. Um, I wish it was more opaque, but I mean, it's okay. This is the Oil Fusion by Sephora in Bubbly Grenadine. This was in a, I think, Sephora Playbox. It's okay. It's not my favorite, but it's okay. Then I have a mini of the Marc Jacobs Highliner. Then I have Elizabeth and James Nirvana Black, one of my favorite fragrances. Then I have Sephora Bright Future Color Corrector in Peach Light. Um, and this is great for concealing any kind of dark spots. Works great. I have toenail clippers, fingernail clippers to clip these long claws of mine. And these are all natural. So, I mean, they're dirty right now because they've been digging in a dirty makeup bag. But they are natural. Then I have a little mini sample of the Poor Professional. Um, I do like this. It's from Benefit. I think I got this from Birchbox. Then I got the Etre Belle Golden Skin Roll-On Caviar Eye Gel. And this was from a glossy box. And I think this was like 60 bucks full price. Then I got some tweezers in case I got some crazies that are hanging out. I do have some um, nail polish. This is Color Club in, I don't know, it's a red. Mini, that's my jam, and this came in a glossy box. And then I have some hair clips because I do have long hair. And when I'm doing my makeup, I like to put my hair in a bun or get it out of my face. That way I'm not getting makeup in my hair. And then the last thing in my everyday makeup bag is Spice Metal Mineralized Eyeshadow from MAC. And this is just, I mean, it's gorgeous. It's like a bronze. I love bronze. Color. Any red, anything to pick up the red in my hair, the auburn in my hair. And then um, there's some, it's like a peachy pinky color. And it kind of is like a duochrome, but it's like a white frosty pink. So that's it for, um, you can probably see, my everyday makeup bag. I hope you enjoy this video. It's the first one that I've ever done like this. Um, I can try to do an updated one every so many months. Like, obviously, I'll use these products until I'm probably out of them, and then I'll transition to other products. Or, I mean, if I'm going to, like, somewhere special, I'll do, like, something else, and I'll go in my Alex drawers and um, get some different things. But, I mean, that's normally what I use on a day-to-day. -day. This look is normally my everyday look if I'm wearing makeup. Most days, I don't wear makeup. When I go to work, I don't wear makeup. When I go to the beach, I don't wear makeup. When I go work out, I don't wear makeup. Like, makeup is a special occasion thing. If I'm going on a girl's night, if I'm, like, tonight, I'm wearing makeup because it was my daddy's birthday and so um, we went out to dinner. But, um, me and my mom and dad. But as far as, like, 
I don't just wear makeup. I don't just put makeup on and walk around my house. I like my skin to breathe. Um, I do like wearing moisturizer. I wear moisturizer and like lip gloss or, or chapstick lip balm every day, but I don't wear makeup every day. I probably wear it I wear it to church, um, and I wear it when I mentor uh, young girls. So I maybe wear it three days out of seven, maybe, sometimes more, sometimes less. I, your skin needs to breathe. Wearing makeup every day is not good for your skin. Your skin needs to breathe. And I'm a firm believer, my beauty is not dependent on how much makeup I'm wearing. My beauty is not dependent on how wonderful my hair looks or how popping my lip glosses or whatever. My beauty, who I am as a woman, is dependent on the way that I treat others. First Peter 3, 4. Like, I am a beautiful woman because of the way that I treat others. I'm a beautiful woman because what lies inside my heart, not what is on my face, not what I put on my face, not the way that people look at me. I could walk into a supermarket and if I am mean and if I cut in line and if I, um, you know, judge people and if I look down on others and think I'm better than each other, don't matter how good I look, like, psh, that's an ugly heart. And I'm sorry, I don't care how beautiful the world says you are. If you got an ugly heart, not cute. So my beauty lies within who I am as a woman of God, who I am as a person, who I am as a human being, how I treat my neighbors, how I treat my family, how I treat myself, how I treat younger women, older women all over the place. Um, so yeah, my beauty can't be defined by my makeup. But makeup is fun. It's fun to dress up. It's fun to be girly. And these are some of the products that I like to do that. I hope this video has encouraged you. Um, maybe you use some of the same products as me. Comment in the um, comments and just let me know what kind of products you like. What are your favorites? Maybe I listed some that you're like, I hated that. That was awful. Comment below. I want to hear like if you hated it, if you loved it, whatever. Let's chat. So I hope you're having a great day. I hope you're richly blessed and I hope you like this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. And if you have any um, ideas or requests for like upcoming videos, I am going to be doing a favorites. I know I've had a lot of people asking me for a favorites video and then um, an empties video. I have a bunch of empties I've been saving up which is really hard to not throw stuff out but I have been saving it up in like a little box and then what was the other thing I had requested? Oh, somebody wanted my like everyday makeup look tutorial. I've never done a tutorial on my channel before as far as like makeup. So I'm going to try to like put a mirror and, and set it up. If you like that, comment below. Oh, and what's in my purse? I haven't done one of those in a long time. So if you guys want to see that, comment below to comment whatever. Just let me know what you guys want to see. I love y'all and I hope you're having an amazingly richly blessed day, night, whatever, whenever you're watching this. And I hope you know that you're beautiful. I hope you know that you're loved and I hope you know that you're worthy. God loves you and so do I. Have a great day y'all. Bye.